So in this video we're going to be taking a look at what Navi did on their CT side in Dust 2 to beat SK. So first of all we're going to be taking a look at what they did on the pistol round. So in the pistol round they had three players towards mid and then the other two players were split up on either side. So the idea for this is they have three people mid to take contact from the long range, uh, try and get an advantage and then fall back once they get this advantage and then play a more default setup. In this case it only worked out for a one for one trade. However they were able to get the information that's in A here and then they were able to set up appropriately uh, so that they could retake the site effectively and then eventually win the round. So here you can see the setup, you've got Edward on the short position, you've got Sinful watching lower and then you've got Guardian uh, in mid, behind the mid box. And once they get the one for one trade they decide to fall back uh, as they start to work out that it's going to be an A hit as Seized on short can start to hear the uh, T players coming out of the long door. So next we're going to take a look at A aggressive B push that the Na'Vi guys do. So the reason why they do this quite early in the round is to try and catch the T's off guard. Normally if you to go for this sort of information play you do it quite late in the round if you're running out of utility and you're trying to work out where the T's are trying to go so that you can set up for this. So as you see they flash in, Flamey dies here however they get the information that most of the players are here and they're able to rotate off the A site and cordon them in. And obviously use their utility and their superior firepower to take them down. So now we're going to take a look at it from the player's perspective. So Seized is going to come towards the back flat area and they're going to set up for the flashbang here. You can see them just making sure that no one's pushing whilst they're doing this. He throws the flash in, Flamey turns in. They're all blind apart from Cold Zero who actually makes the right play of swinging out wide as the one who's not blind. Um, so if Cold didn't do that then Flamey would have been able to get more kills as he'd be able to kill the flash players. Um, but it still works out anyway as you can see them moving up here. This is another clip of an aggressive B push that the uh, B players do from Na'Vi. So this was the right move to bait, however in this case it didn't work out, so they smoked themselves off to make it seem like they're not pushing. However, the SK guys were waiting outside B because they knew that the Na'Vi guys needed to make some sort of aggressive push or play to try and even the odds out. Um, so it was the right move to bait because they have to try and give themselves some sort of advantage rather than just sitting on the sites, but in this case it didn't work out. So next we're going to take a look at a very unique play that Na'Vi did on short. I've never seen this before and it's sort of like an ambush play that they do. So what they're doing is they're waiting for some sort of sign or tell that the uh, T players are coming towards short. So either a flashbang or when one of the players jiggle peek and spot them, then what they're going to do is they're going to all spring out and attack them. In this case we never actually see it uh, work out because the T players never came this way from SK. Um, but it's something cool to see and I've never seen it before. Um, and the idea is that once the players do come towards short, then you've got three people coming out and it's very difficult to kill one of the three players when you've got 3v1. Um, and then it's also difficult to trade again because you've got another 3v1 going on. So now we can see it from the player's perspective. So what they do is they go towards long and show some sort of presence toward there to make it seem like they've got a heavy stack there. Maybe they've got someone in the pit with a setup with a sniper on Guardian. Um, but in fact, they're just trying to make it a fake so that they can come towards the short position and set up for this attack, hoping that the T players will be deterred from coming towards the long position. Um, and then maybe they can use the setup to get some free kills. So you can see how they set up. So Edward's looking at the ground there so he doesn't get spotted. And then Simple's jiggle peeking and looking towards uh, the long position. And then Guardian's just jiggle peeking as well, just to spot any players that are coming around. Something else to note as well is that there's not really a threat from any players coming from long because T's won't normally just walk out long. Um, towards the site they'll usually use a smoke for the cross and make some sort of sign that they're coming long so there's they shouldn't really get shot in the back here and also simple's watching just in case that happens so lastly we're going to take a look at how the navi players deal with a mid to b split so most teams tend to just smoke off the doorway in towards the b site and then they focus their attention towards the window and the tunnel leading into b however the navi players like to flash out um, towards mid and then take the fight towards the mid players, eliminate that threat and then turn their attention towards any players who are coming from the tunnel. So they don't want to be stuck on the site and trying to take two fights at once. They want to eliminate one threat and then go on to the next one. So yeah, the way they do this is they flash over the wall and then Flamey tends to take the fight towards mid and most of the players there should be blind and any other players that aren't blind are going to be having their attention focused towards Flamey and this allows whoever's playing CT spawn so normally this is simple to push out and then shoot them from behind and whilst this is all happening Seized is watching the window or trying to focus on the tunnel making sure that no one comes in from behind and tries to shoot Flamey in the back. So as you can see here Flamey pushes out 
um, he's able to take out two players completely blind and he falls back into cover and Simple's able to take out the player who was taking him out. This is another clip of a mid to B split however in this one we can see the teamwork that Na'Vi use. Uh, instead of just trying to take lots of 1v1s they use their utility to increase their chances of winning these fights so you can see uh, Flamey can hear them coming up and he takes out the first one and calls him for a flashbang um, and then sees flashes over the wall and it gives Flamey the chance to take out another player for free instead of just trying to take um, straight aim kills. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on some of the things that Na'Vi did on their CT side to beat SK on Dust2. If you liked the video leave a like, if you enjoyed my content subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.